Hi, my name is Lois, and welcome to my channel, Lois Codes, where I talk about tips, tricks, cool finds, and everything else I'm learning on my journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get the latest content. Be strong. Be strong. About four or five years ago, I was creating interactive experiences using C Sharp and Unity. I actually enjoyed the experience so much that I decided to get into programming full time, so I deviated and started learning JavaScript. While I've been a developer for a few years now and I feel pretty comfortable in my career, I actually haven't touched C Sharp since I made that decision four or five years ago. So I actually would like to go back and start learning it again. And today we're gonna to focus on all of the IDEs and tools available for c -sharp development. All right, let's begin. I wanted to learn a little history around c -sharp, and I found out that its first version was released in 2001, and it's a part of the .NET ecosystem. It's also one of the most popular languages out there, and according to GitHub, there are over 56,000 repos to learn and contribute to which is great. I have plenty of opportunity to learn and grow from others. Now that we know a little bit about C Sharp and its staying power, let's look into the different code editors, IDEs, and tools for developing in C Sharp. The first one I'm going to look at is VS Code. I develop in it regularly, so it makes sense to try and work in it for C Sharp. VS Code is a great code editor in my opinion. It's open source with many extensions available to make it easier to develop and possibly even compile, so it is a strong contender. This is VS Studio for Mac. As a full IDE, it would be easier to develop and compile. They do have a free version for me to work in, so I can still learn. There are a few differences between developing with VS Mac and VS Windows, but not enough to stop me. I do have a four-year-old notebook and a seven-year-old desktop. I haven't used either in a while. The notebook is pretty slow and the desktop, well, I think I'll need to get that serviced first. If I wanted to learn about WPF development, then I definitely need to get my desktop serviced. Sharp Develop is an open source IDE. Unfortunately, they archived it so I couldn't contribute, but I can still fork it and try to learn from it. The other unfortunate thing is that it's for Windows, and as I mentioned, I would have to get my desktop service first, so that probably won't happen anytime soon. Mono Develop is a cross-platform IDE, so I can use it for my Mac. It looks like I can compile and run applications as well, which is good too. Mono Develop is sponsored by Microsoft and is the foundation for VS Mac, ooh la la. And it's open source with 99% of the repo being written in C Sharp, hmm. It looks like Mono Develop is winning for me. Let's look at some tools. The debugging tools I looked at are more BS extensions. However, Oz code does have a standalone. It could be worth noting this for the future in case I need more than whatever IDE debugging capabilities can offer. Just Decompile is an open source tool for decompiling code. It's 100% written in C Sharp, so obviously another repo I could potentially contribute to. Even though I'm not at that point of looking at a decompiler, it's still nice to know of another open source C Sharp project I can look at, learn from, and maybe even use. It's great how many IDEs and tools are available for C Sharp development. If you have a favorite IDE, code editor, tool, or compiler you like to use, please post a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. But until then, go forth and push code. Strong. 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 Strong.